Welcome to Modern Management of the Older Adult, brought to you by the Institute of Clinical Excellence. Dustin Jones here. Welcome to the Inst- or the PTL Nice Daily Show, brought to you by the Institute of Clinical Excellence. Today is Wednesday, where we are going to talk about all things older adults in particular. It is time, my friends, to redeem the new step. It is time to redeem that $5,000, 12 and a half square foot piece of equipment to better use it for our patients and the folks that are walking through your doors. Before we get into the goods and talk about how to leverage a new step, who it may be good for, who it may not be good for, I want to give a couple quick announcements. One, our next online cohort of Modern Management of the Older Adult Essential Foundations is kicking off tonight, Wednesday, March 1st, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We have a few seats left, so if you're wanting to hop into that cohort, I would do that sooner than later. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to drop any comments. 16 CEUs for PTs and OTs. Uh, we also have a lot of live courses coming your all's way uh, throughout the next uh, few months, this year uh, in particular, but definitely the next few months. This weekend, I want to give a special shout out to Julie Brower. She is in Milwaukee for MMOA Live. Uh, this upcoming weekend, March 4th and 5th, and this is her first solo course as lead. Bravo, Julie. Everyone give Julie a fist bump, uh, a high five. Just leave her a comment. Uh, this is a huge weekend for her and, and ICE and MOA in general. We're super pumped for her. Awesome. All right, let's get into the goods. Redeeming the new step. All right, I love this topic because I've I've got I've got some baggage related to this piece of equipment. See, I've Spend some time in, you know, outpatient, in uh, assisted living facilities, in skilled nursing facilities, a lot of time in home health as well. And my gosh, man, this piece of equipment is one of the most, I would say, underutilized and poorly utilized pieces of equipment in all of rehabilitation. That sounds kind of counterintuitive, right? But I'd say it's the most underutilized, but then also one of the most poorly utilized. People spend a lot of time on it, right? But I think it's tremendously underutilized for what it could actually do for individuals. We typically think of this as the documentation machine, right? The warm-up machine, the go check your phone or get a snack machine, right? All right, buddy, come on in here. Go ahead and get things warmed up for about 10 minutes. I'm going to go either finish up on a patient, use the bathroom, finish a note, whatever, right? And what does Betty do? Betty hops on that thing, she knows the drill, setting four on her seat, she cranks that resistance all the way down to one, she adjusts the length of her arms, and she's just going back and forth, chit-chatted up with everybody in the clinic. Betty is going at a very, very low intensity for 10 minutes, and she got a lot of great social interactions. I don't want to discount that whatsoever, but in terms of a true warm-up or any uh, you know physical benefit, that may be questionable, right? And this is what is happening across the board uh, in so many rehabilitation settings, and it can be rather troublesome. <clears throat> so let's talk about, I want to talk to two people. In particular, when the new step is good, when you want to have it, when you want to be able to use it, when are those situations? And then the other side, when is it an absolute waste of money, time, and space in your particular uh, situation? All right. So when is it good? All right. And I think this is important for many of you all watching and listening because many of you all probably already have a new step that is in your facility. So we need to make good use of this $5,000 piece of equipment that we've already purchased. So there are two, two things, two situations that this new step is very, very beneficial and in and, and, and a lot of cases, more beneficial than other pieces of kind of um, aerobic based equipment, if you will, typically w- where we would bucket the new step. One is limited mobility and then two is with larger body individuals. One, limited mobility. So for folks that require kind of that contact guard, men, mod, even max assist. The new step does provide an amazing uh, surface to be able to transfer to with that rotating chair. It's a big wide chair. So you've got a lot of room to work with that you can get a lot of folks on that piece of machinery. That's a whole different ball game compared to something like a Rogue Echo bike, right? Or uh, a Concept 2 rower or a Concept 2 a biker, for example, which is so prevalent in a lot of CrossFit facilities and, and a lot of gyms as well. The new step is way more uh, accommodating to folks where mobility and transfer dependence is, is a concern. So if you're working with folks that are on that mid-mod, maybe even max assist range, a new step is going to be a potent 
piece of equipment for you because you're going to get folks on there uh, that typically would be very, very challenging to get on any other piece of aerobic-based equipment. So that that's the first one. I think it has a very good use in those situations where mobility is limited. Number two is with large-bodied individuals. A lot of these um, endurance uh, pieces of equipment or ergs, if you will, don't have the highest weight limits. And the seats are typically very small. And so the new step has a weight limit of 400 pounds. And the new step, it, the seat it is a rather large seat. So you can get all kinds of folks in there. Now compare that to something like the Rogue Echo Bike that many of you all spend lots of uh, lovely minutes, maybe even hours on. That Rogue Echo Bike has a weight capacity of 350 pounds. And think about that seat. For a lot of individuals, that seat feels pretty small. The cyclists that are listening to this probably think the Rogue Echo bike seat is absolutely ginormous, but for the vast majority of folks uh, that, that I've worked with report that the Echo bike seat is relatively small. The rower, the Concept 2 rower, is the weight capacity is great for that. It's 500 pounds, but that seat can be relatively uh, small as well. They make accommodations to widen the seat um, that, that is really makes that piece of equipment adaptable, but out of the box, it, it's pretty tough for a lot of folks to get onto. That lovely C2 biker that I know everyone is buying now, that has a weight capacity of 300 pounds and one of the tiniest seats that you're going to see on, on an ergometer. That clip that uh, restricts that seat post is nothing but a plastic clip and 300 pounds is that weight limit. So you get a larger bite individual on there and that, that is not a very uh, stable situation and it's a tiny seat. So these common ergs that we typically work with, especially in the more fitness forward realm and in CrossFit facilities, they're not very accommodating to a lot of individuals of a lot of different shapes um, and different levels of mobility. So the new step I think is really good for folks that have limited mobility and larger bite individuals. But... But, but, but the big thing with this is that the new step may be great in those situations, but it's still tremendously underutilized. And the big factor and variable that we need to really harp on is intensity, 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 intensity. We have such a unique opportunity with folks on the new step to have them do an activity that's using a lot of major muscle groups, right? A lot of uh, upper extremity pushing, pulling, a uh, lower extremity pushing. They're having to work a lot. And with a lot of those muscles, giving that effort that increases that metabolic demand that you can elevate intensity very quickly in a very short period of time. But what do we often see? They're just cruising. They're just chatting. It The new step provides an amazing and unique opportunity to leverage high intensity interval training. And if you haven't experienced this on your own, I want you to do me a favor. If you're the one that says, oh, the new step is easy, oh, the new step is an absolute waste of time and money, I want you to get on that new step. I want you to crank that resistance to 10, and I want you to do a Tabata. A Tabata is eight rounds of 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. I want you to absolutely send it on that first round. Look at the screen because you can be very objective with the intensity. You can look at your wattage. You can look at how many calories you're able to push-pull in that 20-second period. I want you to send it on that first round. And then the next seven rounds, see if you can maintain that output. Once you're done with that eight round, I want you to send me a message and tell me how you're feeling. Was that easy? No, it's not. You can absolutely send it and get an amazing workout on this piece of equipment and your patients can too. And what I really like about this is that it can be objective, just like all the other ergs, but it's measuring wattage, it's measuring calories, so you can get a good idea of what someone's max effort may look like, and you can dose based on that, so they get it within a certain percentage of their max, uh, max output, or their 1RM, quote unquote. So we can definitely leverage this better. Do that, Tabata, tell me how you feel. I'm very curious to hear your thoughts. Uh, Jeff Musgrave and I, we did a, a, a Tabata, we did a few Tabatas, one of them was on the new step, uh, this past week or yeah, last weekend at a course in Illinois and we did a rower, we did a fan bike and then we did the new step and hands down the new step Tabata was the hardest, was definitely the hardest. So I'd love to hear your thoughts there. All right. So that is when we want to use the new step, maybe how we can use it a little bit better. Now the other side of the equation, when we don't need to use the new step or even consider buying it. If you are not working with a lot of larger bodied individuals, if we're, we're not working with a lot of folks that have limited mobility, if all of your folks are independent or contact guard, I wouldn't get a new step. It's $5,000 
It's about five feet long and about two and a half feet wide. When you do the math on the price per square footage, you're spending about $400 per square foot. And if you're in a, t- a small clinic, you know exactly uh, how much space that you have and square footage you have. Do you want to be paying $400 per square foot for a piece of equipment like this that you may not leverage all that often? To put things into context for uh, a lot of listeners, I'm going to read off what you can actually get with that money. All right. Just pay attention here because this is pretty, this is really uh, impressive of some of the equipment that you can get for that same $5,000. You could get a Rogue Echo bike for $850. You could get a Concept, uh, you know, C2 rower for about $900. You can get a really nice Rogue uh, Ohio bar for about $350. You could get plates for that, that bar for $850. Plates will go up to about 350 pounds. You could get a foldable rack on the wall, beautiful, with the pull-up bar that you can hide away whenever you're not using it for around $600. Oh, you need some heavier dumbbells that go past that 25-pound dumbbell that you have? You can go all the way up to 50 for $800. Oh, you want some kettlebells too? Kettlebells from 9 pounds all the way up to 53, 900. That right there, folks, comes out to right around $4,900. $4,900 for all of that equipment. Or I could drop 5K and buy a new step. Let's think about this, right? Obviously, your space, your clientele is going to dictate a lot of this stuff. But I think a lot of us just think new step is like this standard piece of equipment that we need to have, especially for like an outpatient facility. And I don't think that's the case. If you're not working with larger bite individuals where those weight limits are a concern, if you're not working with a lot of folks that have limited mobility where they're, you're having to give men mod assist for transfers, you don't need to buy a new step. You can do a lot of the accommodations. You can get people a whole lot stronger. You can achieve amazing intensities on these other pieces of equipment that I mentioned. You can get all that stuff for 4900 freaking dollars a good use of money. And you can organize it in a way that is not going to take up a tremendous amount of space, which is a beautiful thing. So that's all I got for you, y'all. I want you to think about that new step. If you already have one in the clinic, keep using it, but maybe use it a little bit differently. Think about how you can leverage higher intensities with folks and objectify those intensities and you're going to maximize that time on that piece of equipment. Yes, you already spent $5,000 for a 12 and a half square foot piece of equipment, but you can redeem that new step, all right? You can still send it there. If you are thinking about buying a new step or or you are in a very active clinic, if you will, don't waste your time, don't waste your money. Get that Rogue Echo bike, get a rower, get a barbell, plates, rig, dumbbells, kettlebells. You can get all that stuff at for less than what you would typically buy a brand new new step. Think about that. All right, y'all, let me hear your thoughts. Uh, reach out to me once you send it for a, a Tabata on that new step. I'm really curious to hear how that goes for you. I know it definitely got, got me good for sure. Y'all have a lovely rest of your Wednesday and I'll talk to y'all soon. See ya. Thank you for listening to the MMOA podcast. If you found this helpful, please share with someone that could benefit. And if you're looking for more practical content to help you better serve older adults, head over to www.mmoa.online where you can learn more about our free resources, our community, continuing education courses, and our certification. Once again, that's www.mmoa.online. Thanks for listening.